so hi everyone uh, so in this uh, video we are going to solve this longest substring without repeating characters problem so uh, so what in this problem we would be given a string and we need to find the longest substring without a repeating characters okay so so for the sub uh, substring we we want to make a longest substring without repeating so for the substring to be made we need to uh, make a continuous uh, character combination right a b c can be a longest substring a b c a can be a, long, a longest substring but no, uh, in this case like a b c a cannot be a longest substring without repeating characters right so because a is repeating here again and again two times okay so we need only the unique characters uh, combination of the substring so this is what a and b okay uh, can make a substring okay even like a can make a substring of the length one uh, a can a and b can make the length of the sub uh, uh, length two okay longest substring and a b c can make the unique uh, character substring with the uh, length three okay so a b c a cannot make because of the repeating characters uh, otherwise its length was four okay the same similar in this case we find is b b b and then b can be considered as a longest substring here with the unique characters okay so uh, in this case uh, w k e is found uh, to be uh, longest substring okay so now we will jump on to the uh, how can we solve this okay uh, in this case uh, what we are going to do is uh, what uh, what is un already understood is uh, we need to uh, iterate over each character right and uh, after uh, iterating each over each character what we are going to do uh, we should store it some place to check uh, whether uh, it is a substring um, it is already existing or not in that substring right so in this case we are going to use a substring uh, um, i'm going to use a set here so set also is like a array structure array data structure so in this case uh, what i am going to do is like we uh, we need to first iterate for each and every character and then yeah, on each iteration we need to check whether it is already existing in the substring or not okay if it is already there then uh, we need to remove it uh, start removing the each character from the left side so uh, why from the left side we will cover soon okay so now when uh, on first iteration we check whether the a was there or not ah okay it's it's not there so we inserted it okay then uh, we are going to um, insert on the b okay same way c okay same way a now what uh, you encounter is there is a duplicate unique and uh, the duplicate character right a is already existing there so we need to start removing from the left okay okay so this is now a um, unique uh, unique character substring right so by the way we are keeping the length of this uh, substring stored in a variable uh, so we can like for whenever the entire loop iteration is finished we can compare whether we can return the result okay so now in this case we found this b again okay then we need to start removing from the left okay now we found c again we need to start removing from the left okay now we found b we need to start uh, removing from the left uh, we started removing from the left a is removed okay c b is removed on c and b is remaining so this is also a substring but like of the length two that we cannot consider as a longest substring okay now we enter uh, found b and then uh, we start removing b there from the left okay so this is a substring okay uh, but this is of the length one so we cannot consider it as the longest because we already have the three okay so in this case like uh, if you see why we are we are removing from the left is because like a b c and b okay when we encounter b if we remove b okay then a c b does not make the substring right it is it, is, it does not makes the substring uh, because it is not continuous here okay so 
and now let's jump into the solution so for this uh, I'm going to use a variable max length and uh, what I can do is in this max length we need to use this add uh, data structure okay now uh, if after using this set data structure we can do is uh, store l equals to zero okay we for for making that substring okay um mm, then sorry uh, it's not should be max length it should be substring max length should be like something uh, uh, initial is uh, zero okay now uh, for uh, we are going to iterate over uh, the string each characters of the string okay r plus plus okay uh, so now when coming to each and every character we are going to check whether it existing this is already existing in the substring or not okay and dot has okay and then if it is already existing then what we need to do is we need to start removing from the left side and l equals to um, uh, so uh, left side okay so We, in, uh, we start removing left from the uh, left from the left side and then we need to increment the left so uh, every time the left should increment and we should know the starting of the st substring right so it will this loop will continue till on when we are uh, we have removed the main target element okay so the, the target characters okay so now what we are going to do is um, on each iteration uh, we are going to store it in the okay as r r r r okay so each character we are going to string, uh, store it okay so mm, yeah, s r and we also need to check keep the check of uh, whether uh, it's already uh, uh, the length of the substring okay the existing substring and the previous substring so we can do it with the math dot uh, max and and we have a property called size which returns the size of this uh, um, set and uh, we need to store it uh, we need to keep check whether the max length previous max length or now this uh, is greater and then we can return it safely mm. okay mm. so let's submit this okay now this solution is accepted so the time complexity would be simple o of n and the space complexity would be of o of n uh, so you would think of this uh, set has operation and delete or add it's a constant o of one okay so thank you guys for watching